Hey guys, and how's it going? Been a little while since you've seen this one. This is my 1986 John Deere 216. I want to say it's been probably, probably about a month or two since you guys have seen this on the channel. This is the 216. I bought this about a year ago, um, a couple weeks ago, about a year ago. This is the one that had, didn't idle or run very well, but after we started messing with it a little bit, we got it to run good. Had the cigarette lighter on it and everything else. Previously, I have been having starter problems with it. You cannot start it with the key. I've turned it over by the PTO and I've gotten it to start. Um, a couple months ago, I replaced the solenoid on it the starter solenoid and that did not fix it so I think the starter on it has gone to hell so oh, the condenser is <laughs> mounted right there I think what we are going to end up having to do is we are going to end up taking that starter off as you can see it down there I don't know what the deal is with it as you can see I did replace the solenoid I think the, st I don't know if the starter is the problem, but I do, I am starting to think that that's what it is. Like I said, though, I'm not completely sure on that. Uh, like I said, though, I did replace the solenoid, so I don't think that the solenoid's the problem. Uh, I don't think there's really anything else in there that it could be. I don't remember if you hear the solenoid click. But you turn the key, everything's getting power. I don't exactly remember what it's doing. I just remember it wasn't cranking over. It's been a little bit since I've looked at it. It's been a little bit since this tractor's even ran. So I figured, yeah, it's about time I start getting into it. We got the 312 running recently. So I thought, you know, T16's been sitting there for a little while. Maybe it's time to get it running again. So. And plus, this is the one that I mow with during the summer. This is kind of, that's kind of what this one's dedicated to. I've been mowing with the patio recently, but I decided, well, the patio here soon is going to be turned back into white, even though Coca-Cola wants everybody to be less white. Uh, I'm going to make it, I'm going to put it back into its original form as a patio. So I've been using it to mow because it, I'd imagine the thing been, has been sitting for a little while. So get it running, get the fluids floating around in it, and here soon get it taken apart. But 216, I like to mow with the 216. I put a horn on this 216, so I've been missing my horn. I've needed it the past couple times I've mowed. I've had some idiots riding on the side of the road and going into the center going left of center so i think it's about time we get this thing going again and <laughs> start using the horn so i'm trying to remember what was wrong with it i think i don't remember if the solenoid was clicking or not i don't think power is getting power power is not getting somewhere i'm started to wonder if it's the starter i don't know if it's the starter or not i might grab a set of jumper cables, put a battery in a different tractor, I'll probably grab a bat. actually, I'll probably grab the battery. Does the 208 still have its battery? No. So I'll probably grab a battery out of something. We'll set the battery up here on the seat, run a jumper cable to the starter, and just see if we can get it to crank. Not exactly, I'll probably end up actually running it right here since that goes down to the starter so like I said though I'm not sure I don't remember if any if it's clicking or not I do I think the starter was click the solenoid was clicking I if I'm correct because I don't know if the other solenoid that was in it was bad or not I took it out and I stuck it in this drawer over here the drawer where I put parts it's in there somewhere but I think the solenoid was good because I remember, I don't remember if it clicked or not. 
I'm trying to remember, like I said. But this key, this was a couple months ago. I think it clicked. I'm not 100% sure on that. It might have clicked. It might not have clicked. So I'm going to be extremely pissed off if we hook it up and it turns over and then put a battery on it and it, turn, and it wants to run. But I had to belt start it last time I tried starting it. We last time it actually wanted to run, it started up fine, took it out, used it, brought it back in the barn, shut it off, came out the next day, turned the key, and all I heard was click, click. Okay, so yeah, it was clicking. So I put this solenoid on it, and all it did was click, click, click. So whether it was the bat, I know the battery wasn't drained, the battery was charged. So I'm not sure, like I said. I've started to wonder if maybe something in there is causing it, maybe this or something over there. So I think we're going to go on ahead and troubleshoot it. I'm going to grab a battery and I'm going to hook the bat or I'm going to hook the battery up. We'll see what we get. What do you guys see? You guys see the seat? No, you don't. Now you see the seat. So. Do I just want to hook it right to the positive and negative terminal? Or do I just want to... Let's try that. We'll just do that first. That way we can eliminate two birds with one stone. Find out for sure if that is the problem or, or if uh, it's something else. So we'll hook that up right there. And then what do we... Where's our negative terminal on this tractor? I'm pretty sure it was hooked to the battery tray. Nope, that's it right there. Yep. Last time I tried it, the PTO worked and everything else worked, so I don't exactly know what the deal is with it. It might make an interesting video. It might just end up being Nothing is wrong. So we'll hook our battery. Nothing happened. Maybe that's a good thing. Maybe it's not. Yeah, see it is clicking. That works. Lights work. Okay, so as you guys see, it is clicking. So I wonder if I was to unhook that and run it down there, I wonder if it would if it would do anything different. I guess let's find out. See what we get. I don't want to touch those. Let's see, ready? Nothing. So, let me mess with them, make sure we're getting a good connection. So, no action from the starter. So, so either the starter's dead or something down there is not right. But we just tried it, nothing is happening down there at the starter. Oh, I just noticed. No, I never mind. Everything down there looks fine. I was going to say it looked like that was. That looks loose. Hmm, interesting. So, maybe we can unhook that and get right to. Actually, you know, well, nah. We've already got it disconnected. But as you do see, everything does work. It's, I'm guessing it's a starter problem now. I think we've pretty much confirmed it. So, I guess I gotta decide. I'm considering pulling the engine. The reason I'm thinking about pulling, just pulling the motor out of it is it wouldn't be a bad idea to pull the engine out, clean it out real good, get all the grass out of it and everything. That's probably the way I'm gonna go. Uh, 
Yeah, I think we'll pull the engine out of it. We'll go on ahead and we'll pull the engine out of the T16. While we've got it out of the T16, we can check the starter. And we can also check the, we can check everything else inside. We could do, uh, I don't think it needs a valve adjustment, but pull all the shrouds off of it, clean it out real good, wash the motor, clean the motor. Uh, I don't know if I want to do an oil change on it. I think the oil in it's good. I think I just did an oil change on it actually at the beginning of the season. Right. Yeah, that oil looks clean. It needs a little bit more oil added to it though, but yeah, that oil is clean. So, and there's no oil where the tractor was sitting, so I know it's not leaking. I know this track, this doesn't burn oil, so that don't explain to me why it's so low. I don't know, maybe I didn't put enough in it. I'll have to top it off. So, I guess we are going to pull the engine. So, let me go on ahead and I'm going to grab a, unless that's loose. Oh, he says. <laughs> We're going to have to undo all this wiring under here. Somebody at some point did some wiring on this tractor. I'm going to guess it was probably whoever restored it or repainted it before I owned it. And they did a lot of wiring on it. And when they wired it up, they made it, this was me, but they made it so you can't unplug anything under here. This is wired to, this is, it feels like a butt connector. This is tied up here. So, that's going to be fun. Uh, and then right here is your terminal. I did most of the wiring on this tractor. Or I most, I wired most of the stuff on this tractor, but that one wasn't me. Uh, this right here is one of the battery straps. I thought that was kind of funny. And then unhook this wire. Actually, this wire unhooks right there. Where does this wire go? Oh, that's a ground one. Oh, that goes to the PTO, actually, so I don't really think we need to worry about that one. And then on the back of the engine right here, this is the voltage regulator. We just unplug that. Or on the side of the motor, not the back. Come on off. There we go. And I think I am going to just unbolt it, the cradle from the tractor. I think that's probably the way to do it. So let me get stuff unhooked from it. And after I get everything unhooked, I know you guys have seen me do this before, but after I get everything unhooked from the engine, we'll pull the motor and we'll get a good look at it. Everything's all done and unhooked. I brought you guys back. I figured I'd bring you back to see the hood come off. Probably the first and last time you'll ever see that hood come off that tractor. That 216 has been a pretty reliable one, so I don't really think we're ever going to be tearing back into it. I, I kind of think it's going to be fine after this fix. Got to take the air filter setup off and unhook the fuel pump still but other than that everything's all good to go I wanted to show you all this I thought this was pretty interesting remember when we did the fix on the 216 right there when we found the piece that holds the rubber busted off so we made a bracket and stuck it there yeah that bracket is going through the frame I don't know if you noticed that but it used to be up a lot higher than that by uh, the, there was there's three pieces there exactly that size and I don't know if you can see them down here but you can see that it is sunk below the frame and this uh, this is where it actually where that it's broken right there see it it's busted <laughs> so that's not good uh, we're gonna have to fix that when we get the engine out but I got to get these other things off here 
after I get them off, we'll grab a strap and we'll get the engine lifted out. But I wanted to show you guys that. I thought that was pretty interesting and we're gonna have to fix that. So get back to the video, get back to working on the tractor.
maybe later on if I get worried about it, I'll set it on something. I think I'll be okay with just setting it down like this. Maybe. Yeah, see it just moved the cable where I wanted it. Hey, we got it out. I think we did pretty good. Took a little bit longer than I was planning on it taking, but it was in there pretty good. I'll admit, I've never had that motor out before. On a couple of them rubbers, it didn't want to let go, so before I started recording, I had to go under there with a crowbar or a pry bar, and I had to pry on it a little bit for the metal to let go of the rubber. That's how stuck in there it was. So I don't know how long that motor's been in there. But, yeah, it definitely was ready to come out. It needed to come out, so I guess we'll get everything off of it. We'll have to clean it up here one of these days. I am definitely going to clean it up. I don't know when, but, yeah, that will be happening soon. So let's take it out. I guess I'll take it up front, and we'll fire up the old air compressor and let the air compressor clean it up. i got to find a brick or something to set that motor on. I think we're just going to start taking it apart right here. I guess you could get to those if you really wanted to. I don't like the way I have it setting right now, so I am going to be careful trying to get that out of there. But maybe I'll end up cleaning it up, maybe I won't. I'll probably just more than likely go over it with the air compressor and getting all the dirt and crap off of it. If I had a universal joint, actually I do have a universal joint, I could get in there with that, loosen that one probably.
Yeah, that is, that's seized. We'll have to take a look at that here in a minute. Put those two bolts back in there, and after we do that, we'll take it over to the bench, and I guess we'll have to see what we can find. So, let's take that over there and give it a look. Here's our starter. There's another one right there. Just in case we can't use this one, we can use that one. I don't know if that motor is any good, but we'll find out. So, let's see. What is our problem with this one? Yeah, there's... Okay. I see. I think this motor's wore out. I wonder if that's our problem. Yeah, see now it wants to turn, but before it didn't. Yeah, I think that motor's wore out. I think that's what our problem is. I, mean, I think it's a half inch wrench. I think we have a half inch wrench. And we'll, we'll take that off there and I'd rather not have to swap that, but I feel like we might. Come on. Come on. So here's a half inch socket. Hopefully it'll do what we want. Ready? apart or do we just want to call it quits? Let's take a starter apart. I mean the worst thing we can find is oh, if we take it apart we gotta mess with the magnets. Let's just leave it alone. We'll leave that guy alone for now. I have an extra starter if I need it. There's another starter we can throw together. Take the spring. I don't know what that spring came off. We'll take this spring though and put it on there. Just came off something else. We want to use that gear. What's wrong with this gear? I don't think anything's wrong with this gear. Put that gear over there and we'll just grab our gear that we had on there before. Since I know that's a good gear. Is there a spray in there? Yeah. Where'd I put the spring? Did it fall? No. Where did I put the spring? Guys, I'm missing the spring. That's not, I know that one's not it. Is that it right there? That might be. Ready? Oh, well. As long as it don't loosen, I think it should be okay. That one don't feel very good either. That starter. However, though, I guess it should be okay. I might open that up. I might pump some I might pump some oil in there and let's try it and see what it does. If it turns over then good. If it doesn't then I guess we'll do something else. At least it turns over better than Mr. I'm gonna blow a bearing over here. So we will fix that one though. I'm mess with that a little bit later. Let me grab my jumper cables and that battery and I guess we'll go ahead and we'll mess with this.
have starter back on. So, I guess now the next thing we need to do is get it mounted into the tractor or get the stuff mounted back onto it. Once we do that, should be all ready to go. I'm going to do that off camera because I don't want to have all that on the camera. So, I'll be back. So, let's go on ahead and we're going to take this starter apart and see what's wrong with it, what it looks like inside. I went over there and grabbed another body. Um, this is a Chinese one right here. I just kind of figured, well, these have good brushes, so we'll just pull the brushes out of the Chinese ones, and we'll see. Maybe we can get it to work. I also need a, a bushing, so maybe they have a good bushing. And, of course, those are three eighths. So we're going to go ahead and we're going to pull them apart. Pretty sure these go all the way through the starter. Yeah, I think they do. Last time I had one apart, it seemed like it went all the way through. Yeah, I'm going to go on ahead and say it probably doesn't look that good in there. Yeah. You guys ready? Let's see what we get. Yeah, there's no, there's no bushing there at all. Actually. Those brushes look okay. They don't look bad. That don't look bad either. Yeah. Oh, I, I found the problem. The magnet. <laughs> the magnet let go. Right there. See that? That's the problem right there. So. Yeah, I guess the starter is going to need a magnet. It's going to need a whole new a whole new body. I have this one right here. I wonder if this one will... Oh, it pulled it right in. Look at that. That works. Awesome. So that's the problem right there. The magnet just must have let go. Brushes look okay. They don't look like anything happened to them. We do need a top for that. Maybe we could pull this guy apart. I wonder if the top of that starter, of our Chinese starter, would work. Let's take it apart and find out. I don't know what all you guys can see. If we can get this guy put back together and working, We'll take that starter off that we stuck on there and put this one on it. I think the last starter that I rebuilt went on to a 140. 
I think that was the 140 that left that Mike brought over here to work on. I think that's the one that I, or sell. I think that's the one that left with the starter that I rebuilt. It needed a new starter because it's, for whatever reason, decided that it wanted to quit, so. Its original starter is currently on the, what is it on right now? I think it's on the 68, and it's been working fine, so. That definitely would do it, though, having the, the uh, magnet break off like that. That surprises me. I've actually never seen that happen before, actually. That's probably from the thing being loose like it is. Hopefully this head will swap on to that body. We could even just take the shaft out of this. Actually, we could do that. Take the shaft out of here and put that one in. Those are definitely a lot better. Because these, these suck. And they're not worth a damn to screw with. And I'm not kidding when I tell you that. And the gear they make sucks. Let's see. I don't want that to. Oh, well, that's broken too. I don't want that to. Yeah. That won't go on there. Maybe we could drill that out. So that won't go on there. We'll put this back together. This starter's junk. That magnet in there is broken too. So, take this and I'm going to clean it up real good. And then after I do, I'll bring you guys back. We'll clean the brush surface and this up. After I do that, I'll bring you all back and we'll decide where we go from here. I got starter up front and I cleaned it. Cleaned it up a lot. I'd say it looks really good. So, we need to decide what we want to do. That housing's no good. We'd have to go with this one. That housing don't look terrible. It might need to be. It might need to be cleaned out. Well, I guess it's okay. We can put our thing in there for the magnet. So now we need to decide where we go from here. That is the only thing so far that we need to figure. I'm almost tempted. You guys think we'd be able to get these to hold themselves in while we... Nope. <laughs> nope. Not at all. And now we need what we need. We need some tape. Hopefully this tape will work. This isn't really what I was after, but I guess it'll have to do. I was looking for my duct tape.
I might hold it. Not exactly where I want it, but that might hold it. For now. Yeah, having oily hands definitely doesn't help. <laughs> the tape doesn't want to stick. Tells you how bad it is, it don't even want to stick to my finger. Yeah, it's not going to be worth it. Damn, now is it? If it stays just like that, it would be perfect. I had some duct tape up here. Here's another starter. I had a duct tape up here. I don't know where it is. I bet you it got run off with. Run off with, or I put it somewhere else. That's what you get. <laughs> when you look at an old crap like this. That one popped out. If they would just stay, it wouldn't be such a big deal. Maybe they'll stay now. I guess we'll just have to fight with them when we put it back together. Quill was from, but it's been sitting there, I guess, for a while. You know, I did this before, and I used a certain type of tape, and I don't remember what tape I used. I know it wasn't electrical tape. I know this wasn't it. You know what? Let's do this. Wrong way. That's the way we want. I don't think that way is going to work. Let's just see if we can. Briggs, Kohler, one of you, you need to make a tool for doing this. It would make this so much easier. It would all it would need to do is just hold the brushes in in their place.
really starting to wonder if these brushes are going to work. Maybe we ought to put it on this bottom. These brushes look in a lot better shape. All the brushes just go in. It would appear. Awesome. So all our brushes are in. That's surprising. So now we gotta get this to stay right here. If it even moves an inch, we're screwed. extremely mad if let's see I'm just gonna assume that it's where I want it to be. I don't know what bolts I'm going to use, but I guess we'll have to find out. I will end up replacing the the uh, things more than likely here soon. The bushings and the starter. small. Yeah, definitely too small. So where's the correct one? I bet you we put the ones for that and this. Those are a little bit longer. fell in. Perfect. I think after we get this done, we'll check that and see what we get. When I say check it and see what we get, I mean find out how what size of a bushing we would need for that to want to work. And probably after we find that out. I 
feel like these are the ones that we're supposed to use. One looks the same. There's a way to do. Peek down there and right there. So now we have them lined up. So we should. I won't guarantee it. But we should be lined up now with what we need to be. This we are. Yep, look at that. Cool. Look at that. So now we'll come to this side over here. Which screw did we end up using? I think we use these. I don't know if, I guess it is lined up on that side too. You guys want to go on ahead and test it or do you just want to? I guess we can test it and if it ends up working then we'll maybe use it. Maybe, maybe not. There we go. We do still need a spacer, but it does turn. Don't move forward and backwards, but it does turn. Oh, it hangs up. Turns over nice. I wish I knew why it did that. What do you guys think? Think it'll be okay? I think it'll be alright. Grab a battery and jumper cables. We'll try it out. Went over there and I just grabbed my battery charger. I figured this would probably be the way to go at it. And it's right there by the ultrasonic, so if we end up needing to, we can give it a swim. Give it a swim if it catches on fire or anything like that. I doubt it will. I've done this before, but I guess we'll see. You guys ready? Let's try it out. Why did it stop? That's weird. I wonder if our... I wonder if that popped off and that's why it stopped. Because it didn't seem like anything was... wrong with it. I just turned down the voltage a little bit. Let's see if that does anything. Okay, I wonder what it's hitting. It sounds like something inside of it is hitting. Hmm. Tempted to try this. Oh, the bottom just fell off of it. Oh well. <laughs>
Well, I guess that's the problem with that one right there. One of the brushes is out. Looks brand new though. So, I guess maybe we'll tear into that here in the future and we'll see what's going on with it. I'm not sure what it's hitting on or what its problem is. It seems turns over just fine, but then when you hook it up to here, it stops. So I kind of wonder. I almost don't wonder if that's letting go or that, and it's not my fault, it's just one of them clips are letting go. Let's try it again. Yeah, see that just let go. So it does sound like it needs some, sounds like it needs a little bit of oil, but It seems like it is fine to me. So, I guess if we wanted to, we could put that on an engine. I don't know if I really trust it or not. It definitely needs a, a spacer. I don't know, I'd certainly rather not have a little situation like we had in there where that magnet broke. Where is that magnet? Um, I can't, there it is, right there. That magnet broke. We might even just be able to reuse this. Although, I don't know. So, I guess I'm going to start looking around for rebuild kits. And I'm going to start rebuilding them starters. Get bushings and everything for them. I need to put that engine back together. We did dig into it, though, and mess with it. So, it does seem like it works. Needs a little bit of help, though, but it does work. So, I guess that's where I'm going to leave that for now. Uh, I guess we'll get back into the tractor. in the tractor I think this is where I'm gonna end for the night it is going on 11 o'clock I don't normally stay up this late so this is kind of new to me uh, tractors in engines in got everything wired up I guess let's go on ahead and see if it turns over if it turns over then awesome so let me I'm going to go ahead and plug this in. Ready? There you go. Oh, that's right. I got a turbo key. Oh boy. That's 
trouble. I want to do nothing. There we go, it's not doing nothing. Great. So, yeah, we did something. What's this? It goes to points. Whatever, maybe we need to put it together a little bit further. Yeah. I guess for now. Alright, well, bring you guys back here in a bit. I'm going to do a little bit more wiring on it. That was the first attempt.